right, Wild 105, 796, 7, it's your girl, Mommy Chula, and I am here, it is finally here, One Direction. Inter Hello. Introduce yourself, baby. Uh, I'm Liam. And I'm Zane. And I'm Twee. Twee is the one who actually won Woo. the vote. She had the best interview questions. We'll get to her in just a second. So tell us about how your tour has been in the United States. Like. Um, it's been amazing so far. Like we never really ever expected to be like touring the U.S. and stuff. So it's just uh, it's come a bit of a shock how how well we've been received over here and stuff, and how big the audiences have been as well. And some like sometimes we play like indoor outdoor arenas, yeah. um, and they've been absolutely incredible. It's been great. Yeah, I know. We've just been uh, we've just been blown away by the you know the response we've got out here, the yeah. dedication of the fans. And the weather. Does it ever scare you when the fans are running after the bus? Or <laughs> like, have you um, ever been not nervous? Not so much scary. Oh, not so much scary nervous. for us, but I think it's more scary because you know a lot of accidents happen. Like when I went outside the hotel in in um, in LA, and these girls they just ran across the road, and there was about fifty of them. Like, right. So it's just dangerous, really. But you know. Right. Well, I think those accents, I love your accents. What do you think about our accents? We love your accents as well. It's the same. I suppose you always want one you can't have. Really. <laughs> I can't do the accent for nothing. Can you do an American accent at all? Can you get um, it? Hey, guys, it's Liam here. <laughs> one Direction. How about you? Um, I've tried it. Do, an, do like an American like basketball commentator. That's so easy. I can't do that. Neil Horan with I the jump shot. Like standard, hey, man, let's go surfing, man. Surfing, <laughs> Yeah. All right, so okay, what's the difference between UK women or girls and United States girls? Um, United States girls are uh, more tan because it's sunny. They're what? More, more tan because oh, it's sunny. Oh, tan. Okay. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be my main difference. Um, the accent is the main difference. For the me. accent. That. It's also a difference. Well. So no looks, no attitude thing. No. Um, I think I, maybe I think American a bit girls. More confident yeah. over here. Really? Yeah, 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 definitely. I thought they would be more confident over there. Yeah, no. No, not so much. What is the main thing you look for in a woman that you are just like, oh, that drives me nuts? You know what? If a girl's got nice eyes, it's all really? over for me. The eyes? Um, I like a girl to show me what I'm looking for. Uh, ooh, Very okay. What do you hate that just turns you off? Um, when a girl's a bit too much and she's a bit too confident, that. Oh, okay. I yeah. like them to be a little bit shy. Yeah. Pretty much the same. A bit cute. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to turn it over to Twee. Um, okay. Just kill the rumors for great. You know, just kill the rumors. Like I seen the video on stage where they were saying, one who was trying to kiss. Did you guys see that? The video where they say somebody was trying to kiss somebody. Oh yeah, no. I I seen a picture where they've kind of like morphed me and Harry like closer than yeah. what we actually are, <laughs> and it looks like we're about to kiss. But no, it's just a picture. It's so stupid. I can't confirm it was a kiss. They all. <laughs> It was so stupid because you obviously see he was trying yeah, to talk in exactly. your ear. exactly. We're just trying to talk because obviously we can't hear each other on stage and they make that out that we're trying to kiss each other. <laughs> okay, so you weren't trying we to... We weren't trying to kiss. Okay. Good work. A lot of people are good at Photoshop on the internet. <laughs> a lot of young people. <laughs> All right, so Twee, she has some great questions for you. Go ahead, Twee. Fire away. If you could swap life with anyone in the band, who would it be and why? Um, is it like for a day or just to swap lives like in general? Swap, Any? Swap yeah. Um... <laughs> I don't question. know. I like my own life. I don't know if I'd want to swap with anyone. Okay. I think I would swap with Niall. Niall what? Niall or Louis, because Niall, I don't know, he's got, he, he thinks differently. He's on a different wavelength to everybody else, I find sometimes, Niall. And I'd love to discover why. And um, Louis, he's just crazy all the time, and he gets away with so much, whereas I can't get away with that much. So I'd love to be the man who gets away with things. I know how that feels. <laughs> if a fan were to give you each a present, what would you like to get? Present. I would like to get some form of superhero action figure. Of yourself or just of any? No, a superhero. Like any uh, super. I love superheroes. Me and Zayna I love superheroes. Okay. If it was possible, I'd like somebody to gift me a superpower. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. Down with the superheroes. I like it. What is something you could tell by yourself that would shock others? Okay, so it's something we could tell you that would shock you. Yeah, um, about yourself. I don't even know. Do you like bite your toenails? No. <laughs> she does. <laughs> I do. No, I don't. Um, I, I, I would love to um, shave my hair off. Shave your hair off? Yeah, do you I'd have like, a nice I'd one? Like, I'd like to shave mine as well, though. I think you should try it. Yeah, maybe. I don't think I'd go with it so much. You could sell your hair. Like, it'd probably go for a million dollars on eBay. I know, I should do it bit by bit, just in case. Yeah, I think so. What is one thing you can always put a smile on your face? Um, I'm going to say... Um, 
even if some, even even in a situation, I might be mad at him for something. The person who can make me smile is Louis. Whatever happens, he'll just make me laugh about something because he's just that crazy. Aww. Um, when when I talk to my little sister, like when I sit here, Aww, good, good call. Really. Good. Do you guys ever get tired of staying in hotels? Um, yes. Yeah, because like we go to all these like amazing places and we don't really get to you know see see everything. We just see like the inside yeah, of hotel rooms. In the, in the it's just boring. Right? Yeah, no, it's just um. I don't know that hotels are literally all the same. Like if you if you stay in the a same sort anywhere of in the world, anywhere in the world, they're, they're all the same. same. Yeah, so you just kind of. I mean, the comfort of having a mini bar is some quite sometimes quite nice. You just get you know you need a drink in the middle of the night or something, or need some Pringles. There's usually Pringles in every hotel. Yeah, so if you're, at, if you're at your own house, you'd have a fridge full. Of but stuff. sometimes I'd forgot to buy the Pringles, so it's you know <laughs> but when the they're Pringles there. Pringles cost you like fifteen dollars. You, know you can't argue with room service. Pringles. You can't argue with room service either. <laughs> room service in hotels is spot on. Okay. If you could punk any celebrity, who would it be? I would want to punk... Who would have the best reaction? That's the question. Simon Cowell. I would really love to punk Simon. Oh, it'd be yeah. so funny. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Is um, he really like that. that in person? Like, Is he, the mean... He's not actually, like... You know, he, get, he gets portrayed to be this, like, yeah, evil, no. you know, like big like yeah. tyrant but he's he's a really cool guy like he's he's just really normal he's he's really funny and he's just he likes football and girls he's just <laughs> the thing about simon is he's very comfortable around people he's very confident but if you took him out of his comfort zone i wonder how he'd be that would be my thing yeah. just to what would what make happened. him uncomfortable i'm not sure but something just something unexpected i think like if his car like just like broke apart while he was sat in it or something like could you imagine we we once Oh, I can't tell you actually, just in case it does happen. <laughs> what? Remember when we were thinking about that storyline of what yeah, we could yeah, do yeah. to? Yeah, I can't, I can't tell you. Okay, yeah, anymore? Tell you. What's the most? What's the most craziest thing a fan did? Um, the most crazy thing a fan did. Um, the other week in, uh, we were at the Niagara Falls, and we went to an arcade down the road in a police car and two police cars, and the girl tried to break into the police car and got arrested. Oh yeah. That's not the smartest thing I've ever heard, but it was fair play I, to her. She I, was I committed. I see somebody, somebody hide in a bin. Somebody in hid Sweden, in a bin. Yeah. Like a trash can uh, in Sweden. And yeah, before they got to us, one of our security found them. Like, hiding oh. in a bin. Been, yeah. Was there trash in there? Uh, I don't know. I didn't oh, know. gross. <laughs> is that it? Yes. That's it? Okay, is there anything last word you want to say to them? Great questions, though. Yeah, she did. Good work. I can see what you want. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You, this is your time to shine, girl. <laughs> She's been I'm nervous. <laughs> Too nervous. <laughs> is it hard for you guys? Because I know you guys are over 18. Is it kind of hard because you have so many young fans to keep it even with your real lives and to satisfy that part, um, but still, you know what I mean? No, I think, I feel like, because... From I don't know. The start, the, from, from the start, I think we've just been ourselves. Been ourselves. That's what I was going to say. So yeah, like, it's never, it's never. You know, we've never tried to be something that we're not. So it's not like we're trying to maintain an image of, of something that's not real. We're just being right. ourselves. Yeah. So right. Like, it's not, it's hard, not, hard, not that hard to find that balance if you're just being yourself. But then you do get caught sometimes thinking, you know. Yeah. Maybe sometimes. When, when am I me? Sort of thing. Bit, yeah. You know, right. Like I can't do anything. I can't. You know, yeah, so you, have to, you have to draw the line have a, somewhere, yeah, so it's difficult. Yeah, sometimes you, you don't gotta, know where to draw the line. Because obviously you're kind of seen as a role model, you've got to understand what's acceptable and what's not. Do you guys have any tattoos? Oh, oh that is dope. I've just been bitten as well, though. So wow. So are you going to, like, get a whole bunch more, like, I want to fill. It's got one here, some here. Got some you want to take off your shirt? It's got uh, one. I'm not telling you where. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there you go. I don't think that's acceptable. Oh, dang. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm over. T I'm over 14, so I'm okay. okay. Right. <laughs> I'm grown. How old are you? Uh, 19. You're grown too, so it's okay. Right? 18. <laughs> 18. So, um, what do you want to say? Did you get to see Atlanta at all? Um, we saw little bits of it, not too much. We mainly, well, we started recording actually today, which we find quite, maybe we find quite interesting. We started oh. recording another song for the album, so it's a very strong song. We're happy with it. So the album's mm -hmm. going really good at the moment, and we've got a number of songs that we're really happy with. So it's going to be difficult to choose okay. which one we release as a single and stuff, which is always the tough part. But we didn't get to see much of Atlanta. Maybe next time when we come back, we've got a bit more time here. We can uh, mm -hmm. go around a little bit. Did you guys right. work with any Atlanta artists? While yeah. You're doing, when you're doing your song, or you working with? Uh, not at the moment. Anything? Not at the moment. No. Just just some some producers you heard from around T. I here. Was in the studio yesterday, though. Was it? That yeah. would be crazy. One Direction and Ti yeah. record. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he could, he could pull it off. Yeah, he, no, he could definitely bring one. It'd be interesting. Yeah. yeah. If he could get on Taylor Swift song, right? Yeah. You know. Good point. Yeah. Okay. So thank you guys, and thank you, you know. You.
we appreciate you coming and nice meeting you really and nice good luck. You I know you guys are just going up and up and up. So any last words to ATL? Um, we just want to say a massive thank you to all the listeners who uh, love our track and request it all the time. Thank you so, so much. And uh, hopefully we'll have some brand new good music for you soon. Okay. Well, Sweet. I got to say it to you. Um, this is what I say to people. Mommy Chula, I just want to say I love your stinking ass. I love your stinking ass. Stinking ass. I love your stinking ass. Can you say it? I love your stinking ass. I love your stinking ass, man. <laughs> Yo. I like your accent. Where about you from? I love your stinking ass. I'm from Wichita, Kansas. Okay. Yeah. Kansas. I like that. Kansas. But a lot of people think I'm from New York. Okay. But yeah. I'm just Kansas cool. where Dorothy's from. Yeah, I know. All Please don't. Kansas see. now, girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you, I don't know where I heard that before. Have you, probably on my wife and kids. Probably. Have you ever been to Kansas? No. I don't know if we have yet, actually. Maybe one time. Who knows? Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you guys.